Welcome back to Lab Insider with Max and Olivier Chevalier. Hello. Operations Manager at Platform 3A at Avignon University. Uh, you have a background in organic chemistry and recently uh, returned from Belfast after uh, 11 years of working at Queen's University. Yes. Indeed. Olivier, we have uh, some general questions, some short uh, questions and answers. Uh, innovations in automation. Um, right now we're looking at a a landscape in which automations are not mainstream but do you see any potential yes no no i think there is a lot of potential in automation to be mainstream especially in academia uh, over the next five years and it's going to be more generalized than it is now because industries start to use it quite extensively and uh, academia need to follow the, tr the trend and to train new students to be able to use the automation. That is definitely why I think it's going to be in the mainstream really, really soon. So where, where do you see these innovations going? In data sharing, and, uh, in build, building more efficient workflow, uh, and uh, basically bringing better science at the end of the day, and uh, faster discovery and more transversal uh, collaboration between researchers. When it comes to the lab, uh, what do you think it will look like in five years' time? It will look a little bit more modern than it is now, with a little bit more uh, connected interface and uh, far more connected instrument, and uh, that will be um, yeah more like a domotic domotic home uh, in the lab rather than you know instrument which are scattered around the lab with not connected to each other. That's what how I see it. When it comes to the pandemic, how well do you think the uh, labs are actually prepared? I think uh, some of the labs were not well prepared, uh, but some of them who actually opt adopted automation a little bit earlier were far more prepared. And I think that is another reason to why to adopt automation, because this, the lab who adopted were early adopter uh, were able to recover faster and to go back to work a little bit faster and to be more efficient really, you know, really faster again. What is the most important thing that you think needs to change? I will say that, you know, people don't need to be scared of technology and the uh, digitalization of the lab, for example. That's something people should embrace it rather than to being scared of that because they are not going to lose their job because of, of automation and f because of digitalization. Their job is going to be different and maybe a little bit more easier so they can focus really on things which are more important rather than uh, doing repetitive tasks. When it comes to advice, uh, a general piece of advice that you would be able to uh, share with your uh, fellow colleagues in the industry, uh, do you have any, any, any words of recommendation? If you want to uh, adopt automation, uh, try to pick up a team which wants to do it and which is want to learn how to do it. And um, it's better to start quite small and after to build and to show the example rather than trying to go large from the start and um, not fail, but it will be more difficult. So try to pick up the people who want to really adopt it. and. Use it as a, as a showcase and a proof of concept. That will be, yeah, definitely my advice for that. Do you have any recommended readings, any publications or books uh, that that you have uh, on your mind at the moment? I will say not especially any kind of book or recommendation. I will say just keep up to date with literature and uh, try to follow uh, what uh, companies are basically using and not only in your area but as well in other transversal area just to keep aware of um, of the new trend in technology and um, even if it's not directly linked to what you are doing in the lab uh, it can give you idea so just keep up to date and just basically follow literature as much as possible and be kind um, and just yeah, keep up to date. That is definitely something. Keep up to date. Olivier, thank you very much for joining us. Yeah, yeah. You're welcome. Thanks, Max. That was Olivier Chevalier uh, of the University of Avignon. Join us again on Lab Insider for more information and general questions.